Hello, this is Kuhu from the K Junction and this is a winter project that I did with my almost three-year-old son. It's an instant snow fun sensory play. So what you need for this fun sensory ice snow project is a couple of packets of baking soda that you can get from your kitchen supplies. And then you, you would need a conditioner. And I had few bottles of conditioners uh, lying around. They were expired. So I thought let's use them in this project. And then you would need a pair of scissors and then uh, some matchsticks, bottle cap and ribbon. And here you can see my son grabbing everything he's seeing around. The safari tube animals, polar animals, really mini ones. So you start with pouring baking soda into a container. Container, so my son is doing the honors here. And then you would need to add some conditioner in the container. So I do not know the exact quantity but you just keep on mixing until you find the right consistency of the snow with that we are making. So here my son is mixing the two ingredients. So this is what it looks after getting mixed. So if you have less of baking soda, let's add more so that you have this kind of consistency. And your snow is ready. So just uh, transfer the snow into a tray or something flat so that you can have a lot of fun playing with it. So my son loves transferring works. We have done a lot of Montessori but uh, transferring works so he loves that. And the snow, the artificial snow actually, it really feels cool. And look at the fun we are having. I just added the safari tubes, the mini polar animals. And we talked about the habitat of these polar animals, how they live in the snow. And then we went on to make our own snowman. So here my son is rolling the snow to make a snowman. So this is how it looks in the making. I helped him make two spheres and put them one on top of other and then I used the bottle cap to make the snowman's cap and then here we are using matchsticks to make hands of our snowman and then we'll be adding nose, a shorter matchstick to form his nose. too cold so the snowman needs a muffler too so that's a ribbon working as a muffler to the snowman so that's how it looks I tied a knot in his muffler and this is the rest of the snow where my son is exploring the other animals <laughs> the animals are going zoom from one side to the another so there are two penguins one polar bear and a seal so that's some really sensory fun and it went on for a couple of minutes and he enjoyed a lot. And here we are doing uh, toboganning of the penguin. Then we added this wooden block and formed a ramp and then he, my son is putting all the snow on that ramp and now we will use this ramp to you know, make the animals slide through it. So I hope you liked our snowman and the snow habitat of these polar animals. We had also read this beautiful book about polar bear and the snow. So watch our polar animals sliding down the snow slide. And I also talked about sledge that is used in snow slopes. So once more a closer look of our polar animals. Activities like these act as conversation starters for us. 
a lot of learning happens because my son asks me so many questions based on what we do. So I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of questions regarding snow, polar animals, etc. This video is a part of the playlist which is winter theme and Christmas activities that we are doing. So do check out, I'm posting the link in the description box below. I'm doing Montessori as well as Waldorf inspired activities this winter and Christmas season. So make sure you check out that playlist. I hope you like this idea. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please do like, share, comment and subscribe to the K Junction. Bye bye and happy parenting.